Black NYC fragrance family. Got a review for you. Fragrance that I've been wearing probably since it came out. The fragrance was released in 2006. Comes from the house of Bulgari. And it is Bulgari Porom Swa. Closer in there. That's where you can see that. This is a 50 ml iteration, 1.7 ounce. Just love the smell of this thing. The Darjeeling T note is probably one of the best T notes and fragrance that I've smelled. It's a very simple fragrance. You have papyrus, there's an amber accord, Darjeeling tea, and bergamot. And that opening with the tea and the bergamot, to me is just fantastic. You know, you see a lot of talk about the aqua line. You see a lot of talk about maybe the black, the hockey puck looking bulgari. You don't hear about this one much. You know, I know it's 14 years old, but I think tried and true, it's still one of the fragrances that still makes an impression today. You know, this was definitely and has been a compliment getting fragrance for me in, throughout the years of wearings. It comes in relatively cheap at discount as now you can get the 50 ml I just showed you 1.7 ounce for around $50 and the 3.400 ml is going for around $60 which I think that's the better value proposition considering you're getting twice the amount of juice for only $10 more. So I think it's well worth picking up the 3.4 the 100 ml. The prices I saw this on FragranceNet fluctuates from time to time which is kind of funny. I've seen it dip as low as into the 30s for the 50 ml and now it's back up close to 50. I'm starting to wonder if this is going to become a little harder to get or a little harder to find. You know, I, from the house of Bulgari, they have very good quality. The performance on this is fantastic. I get a good six to seven hours, which I know for some people that doesn't sound like a lot, but you know what? Six to seven hours is plenty. Projection. I smell it coming off of me consistently. So to sit here and say it's an arm's length, it's three feet, it's six feet, there's no real way to gauge that. You know, uh, unless I have some kind of scientific model going every time I wear a fragrance. I don't know how somebody says, well, projection is an arm's length. Well, how would you know that? Do you like leave your body and stand an arm's length away from yourself to smell it? I don't think so. So anyway, for me to tell you how far it projects, couldn't tell you. Can I, do, do I know that it leaves a scent trail? Yes. Do I know if I walk past somebody and they say, hey, you smell good, or they compliment me on my smell? That I've definitely got. To tell you how far it's going, I, you know, anybody who's doing that is just making things up. That's all I, <laughs> that, that's all I have to say about that. That's my own two cents. Let's put it that way. I see it being done a lot. I kind of laugh at it because there's really no way to know. There really isn't, you know. Do, I, do you fill a room when you're wearing this? Well, I'm a classic oversprayer, so I'll say I do. You know, if you're easy on the trigger, you might not. You might find it fleeting. Has it been reformulated since 06? Don't know, because I have gotten this bottle I purchased more recent, because I got a 50 ml. When I go traveling, I carry the 50 ml with me instead of carrying the 100 ml, because I do have a 100 ml bottle, which is almost empty. So, what... I found this fragrance actually because for a while Chanel Egoise Platinum was hard to find and that was my main mainstay fragrance for many years. So I wanted something similar. I was looking for something that gave me that kind of feeling or vibe when I wore it. And when I sprayed this on my skin I was like, okay, this, this could do the job. I like this. I think this might work. So I picked it up and I was happy with it. And then Egoise showed its face again and it's back in the collection. And hopefully it stays. I don't know what Chanel did a few years back, but it was coming very hard to find in stores. It wasn't readily available. I mean, I know you could always go to their website, but okay. But we're talking about the Bulgari fragrance today. So again, great value, great fragrance. As far as I'm concerned, this is a 10 of 10 designer fragrance for me. There's some people may not feel that way. They may think there's other ones that are better, but I consider it a 10 of 10 designer fragrance. And I just love the way it smells, and I, and people around me love it too. So, new viewers, thank you for coming and watching my video. 
New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. Much appreciated. And my NYC Fragrance family, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are the best. I love how you support me. I love getting comments from you. I love having those conversations. Till the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day. Thank you.